Good morning and welcome to day 19 of Becoming a Praying Parent. A couple more days and we've done three weeks of establishing this habit, so I hope it's going well for you. This morning's prompt was to ask Holy Spirit for a picture of your kids in 10 years and pray into that. And as I was doing that this morning, I realized the pictures God was giving me are pictures of my children conquering things that I'm worried about. So I pictured one of my kids and they were full of joy and learning and motivated. Another one was healthy, physically caring for their body. Another one was physically affectionate, um, still at the age that I was picturing them. And it made me remember a part where Jesus is talking about when the Holy Spirit comes in John. And I want to read it to you. He's telling the disciples a bunch of things. And then he says, there's so much more I would like to say to you, but it's more than you can grasp at this moment. But when the truth giving spirit comes, he will unveil the reality of every truth within you. He won't speak his own message, but only what he hears from the Father, and he will reveal prophetically to you what is to come. Feel like God knows that hope deferred makes the heart sick. Proverbs says that when we have to wait and not know what something's going to look like, certainly through this season, we've all probably experienced that in some way or another, where we just don't know what's coming next, and it, it makes us a little bit sick, unmotivated. God knows that and his spirit longs to place a taste of what is to come in front of us so that we are able to continue to have hope and live life to the fullest and experience joy even when what is set before us doesn't look that way. And so I bless you this morning to allow Holy Spirit to stir up hopes and dreams in the pictures that he gives you of your kids in 10 years. If you get a picture that isn't full of hope, I would encourage you to ask yourself, God, what is the lie I'm believing? Because when we look into the future and we don't see hope, that is a future without the power of Jesus in our kids' lives. And so if that happens to you, just ask God, God, is there a lie I'm believing about my kids, about myself, about you, that would make me think that this is what their future is? Give that over to God and then ask God, what do you have to give me in return? What is the picture that you want me to cling to of my kids in 10 years? So bless your day and I will see you for a couple more days.